What's up, everybody? Hope everybody is having a good, good morning and good evening. I just wanted to get on here and say that today is day three of me being sober from marijuana, and it has been such a challenge just to even get to this point of quitting. But I have to say that I feel so much better, and I felt like I felt like I was trapped. And this like cycle of never ending a never ending high and I was trying to like escape reality with it like I have nothing against marijuana but if you're using it as a tool it is a lot different than if you're using it to cover up your reality because some people I feel use it as a way to cope with life and We have to cope with life being sober. Like, we have to get through our traumas and our daily battles without anything. We have to face, we have to face everything head on. We have to face our fears. We have to let things go and we have to heal from our trauma. And once we heal from our trauma, it's a beautiful thing. Like, I feel, I feel like they... Day one was okay. Day two was really, really bad. I was, like, having a lot of, like, hot and cold flashes. And I was having uh, panic attacks, anxiety, and just thinking, like, I need this, you know. I need this substance to help me get through this day. But I didn't. And there's a beautiful deer. There he is. Her and her young. Her baby. I've seen like two geese and a couple of deer so far. And I just started my hike. So I guess I'm going to see where this takes me. And I want to thank a few people on this channel that has really, really, really helped me. And just has been very inspiring on this journey of mine. And... I am so grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful for Ralph Smart. I'm grateful for so many of the YouTubers that has led me to where I'm at. Because I know that we cannot do this alone. We need others. And I hope that as I heal and keep going on this journey of being sober... I hope that my mind is becomes a little bit more clear and things start to really, really sink in and I'm able to have like an open mind about everything and <clears throat> I just really feel like weed took a big part of my life and it helped me in a way but it also set me back because When you get up in the morning and the first thing that you want to do is get high, that's not a life. That's, that's not living your life. That is literally like you are hiding away from yourself, from your physical body. You are hiding. I mean, I was like, it's really hard for me to like come out and talk about this stuff, but it, I have to, but I would get up in the morning and. I would get high, and then, you know, by lunchtime, I'd be high again, and so forth. Like, I would just stay high all day long, and it just, I knew that this was not serving me any longer, so I needed to make a big change, and I started searching, like, people who have overcame marijuana addiction, and, you know, a lot of people say that marijuana is not addicting, bullshit (laughs) if you're doing something every day and you need it every day and you can't live without it it's an addiction people don't want to talk about it people see marijuana as a medicine marijuana can be a medicine it's a tool it is a tool to open up to the spiritual world to become one with your senses and to be able to see things clear but a lot of people can be become addicted to that and when we become addicted to it it doesn't, it's not working anymore because you don't feel the same thing that you used to with it. 
And I'm not saying that I won't ever smoke weed again. But for now, I'm on a different path. And I just know that where I'm at right now, it's working for me. And I'm hoping that I can keep going. And for everybody out there that is struggling, that wants to quit, and nobody can tell you what to do. No one can tell you, hey, you need to quit. That's something that is personal. And there is no judgment. I have no judgment on people who do smoke. But I have my own personal experience, and this is my experience. This is what I'm going through right now. And... For all of you that do want to quit, it's possible, and you can do it. If I can do it, and these others can do it, you can do it too. It just takes that that step, that big step. That's the biggest step of wanting to quit and then admitting that you do have an addiction problem. And once you get past that, that you want to quit...